next to go. Yeah, who's next to go? I check the line. Who's next to go? Find me on YouTube. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I know I'm going to totally get a red flag for that one. And this show will be banned in, I believe it's Russia. And there's one other one. Um, but do we really care? No way, because that was a hell of a way to start the uh, old Bodzy Live tripping with Bodzy on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, episode 288. How the hell are you? <laughs> Who doesn't love a little, uh, a, a good old queen? <laughs> I almost forgot the name for a second. I was like, Come on, come on, Greg. You know it. Get it out. Just say it. It was Queen. Awesome. Uh, what a wicked rendition. Uh, that that dude's got some talent right there. That's uh that that's called creativity. We're smoking a lot of drugs and just really bored. <laughs> Either way, I thought it was pretty good. So there. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, hope you're having a great week so far. How the hell are you, Wade? Thank you uh, so much for tuning in. Bruins in four, he says. <laughs> Listen, the way that we've played the past couple games, yes. But these past couple games don't count because it's, it's the end. We already know we made it a few games ago. We already knew we were playing Boston. Yes, Matthews is still playing, and there's a pretty good reason why. And we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the current Matthews watch for 70 is uh, still on. He has not caught it. We are in just starting the third period. The Leafs are getting absolutely walloped. It's okay. Kucherov just got his 100th assist, second player to do it this year. Only the seventh player ever in NHL history. So good for that guy in Tampa Bay. That's clicks right there for sure. And listen, I hope to holy hell Matthews gets 70. I think it's great for the league. I don't care if you love him or hate him. For Matthews to get 70, it hasn't been done since, fuck, I, I forget now. But it's been a long time, like 30 plus years, okay? So we're all rooting for Matthews. Let's go. We'll keep it washed here. And, uh, and, and if I forget or miss it, please let me know. Uh, we also got Sharon Keller and my boy Keith tuning in for BC. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. My my favorite Malacca in the whole world, Andy Seferis, hockey guru extraordinaire, too, I might add, except his habitants are not in the playoffs. Boo-hoo, real shame right there. Uh, but listen, he's a really good armchair quarterback, and he'll tell you every reason in the world why the Leafs suck and why they're not going to win. And it used to be Dubas's fault, but Dubas is gone. So well, what else? Who's next, Andy? Is it, is it the coach's fault now? Is that who it's going to be? <laughs> We just got broke a hundred points again. Uh, you know, it's great. Listen, we're a great regular season team. Yes, it's we play for the playoffs, and yes, we are not very good in the playoffs. But yes, things are going to change this year. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> no, this is not a recording from last year and the year before that and before that. No, all jokes aside. Listen, I think it's going to be thank you, Andy. 90, 1992, 1993 was the last time um yeah anyways listen what an amazing hockey season it was we had so many great things happen out there on the ice uh the playoffs just they look outstanding i mean they really do <clears throat> so if you're a hockey fan great time to be alive um it really is kirsten richards thank you so much for turning it tuning in as well I think I said your name wrong, and that's what threw me off. And I was gonna re correct it, and then I didn't correct it, and then I just sounded like a bumbling idiot, which par for the course, quite frankly. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, let's get the sponsor out of the way. Oh, well, there's that first. Please go support me on the social medias, will you? Thank you very much. Uh, especially on the YouTube. And if you're not watching the show there, you better be okay. But if you're not, I appreciate you watching for wherever you are, too, to be honest, quite frankly. Do I really care at this point anymore? No, not really. All right. Um, watch it wherever you shall. 
Okay. Uh, great. Uh, show's brought to you by, where are they? Oh, uh, these guys are back. The best in the whole entire world. It's my favorite. It's yours too. Shakespeare's Fine Dining. Um, I got a great friend that's uh, listened to the show for a long time, and she now has her own podcast, thanks to yours truly. And she's been going to Shakespeare's Fine Dining and taking her family there. And, and they're all hooked. They're hooked. She makes reservations, though, because she's really smart. 905-528-0689 or www.shakespeare.ca. That's going to get you delicious meals like this. And believe me when I tell you, 54 years in the business, the old man, my buddy's friend, my friend's dad has been the chef and owner of this place since the get-go. Pretty sure he knows what he's doing and how to cook that delicious steak and seafood. So get your ass over there. Go have a great time. The service is impeccable. The wine's impeccable. And everything else is impeccable there, too. All right? There. You were warned. Um, what else? We've got a great show coming up for you tonight. Um, the guest thing. You know what? I've sort of been really enjoying not having guests. <laughs> it sort of turned out pretty good and uh, made me realize that, you know, I used to sort of, I, would, I hate to use the term hide behind a guest, but it was a great time killer. And I loved interviewing people. Uh, but lately I found that, you know, I've sort of loved just talking and talking about crazy stuff that's going on. For instance, tonight we're going to talk about that audition that I did. Uh, I, I think I'm allowed to say a little bit, but not too much. So I'll tell you exactly what went down. Uh, the Leafs, Boston Bruins, as for a mention at the top of the show, round one. Here we go again. Good Lord. Baby Jesus, please help the Toronto Maple Leafs get through the Boston Bruins in round one for once. Please and thank you. All right. There, I said my prayers. Uh, I hope my boy's listening, okay? <laughs> but it sure is going to be a doozy. Um, it always is. You guys, Boston plays tough. Same you guys, like you're all Boston Bruins fans. But I get, listen, I got a lot of friends that are Boston Bruins fans. And um, they're all root for the Bruins, and they hate the Leafs. So there's Tommy LeDrew. Speaking of Bruins fans, huge Bruins fans, there's my guy right there. That guy is a massive Boston Bruins fan. Um, Andy Safaris, you got to be cheering for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Like, don't give me a break. Um, too many microdosing today. Why? Am I talking too fast? That's just me. Um, one microdose this morning. It's a Monday to Friday regiment. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, it has it has helped. It has helped. We've had a little bit of a setback this week, and I'm going to talk about this coming up shortly because I, I'm quite frankly, I'm, I'm pissed. I am pissed because I was doing so well. I've been working so goddamn hard. You know, Pat, boo, you know, it's sort of boo-hoo wham, but when you hear what I'm about to say coming up in a minute, you'll understand why I'm a little perturbed, if you will. Flavor tonight, the uh, flavor du jour, is that what you would say? I'm not really up with my French. I'm more Spanish these days, and I don't know how to say what flavor it is in Spanish. So the flavor du jour in the cup is uh, do, 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 lemon ginger. Back to the lemon ginger. Just a smidge of honey. So good, man. I'm telling you, I could live on that stuff. Lisa Holgate, thank you so much for tuning in from the Belleville region. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, listening and um, watching and listening to you with or without guests. Yeah, Listen, I love guests. I really do. I, I love having them on here, but I've just been sort of, I haven't even gone looking for guests lately. I know that I have on the hook, JJ Wild. I know that the Feral Minx boys are, are ready to go at any time, but we're not just going to do a regular interview with Feral Minx. We got something planned and we're, I'm not just going to rush into it and go and do it. Okay. So set it down. Those boys are coming up and they got some great things uh, that they're working on too. So it'll all, it'll all line together perfectly like the sun and the moon the other day. Or last week or whenever the hell that was. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, so the audition. Uh, mental health. I'm going to talk about mental health and the triggers. Because I'm triggered. And I'm fucking pissed right now. <sighs> so we'll get to that. And you know what it started? It, and I'll tell you what started. I was having the best weekend. And that stupid tow truck driver video. I don't know if you've seen it. I, I ain't playing it. I, I, there, I don't even have it. I don't have stills. I look for photos to sort of show you what I was talking about. You'll get a, a sense of what, but man, the video that I saw and I'll describe it to you at, at length later, it's, it triggered me and, and, and it has set off Sunday. Why did I see it? I'm trying to think if it was Saturday night or Sunday. I think it was Sunday night. So it would be Monday, Tuesday, and today have been a fucking nightmare up here. I thought I, thought, I, thought I was so far past these sort of things and, and well, Full on trigger. Uh, and uh, we'll get into that. And plus, I'm going to rant. And because I've been pissed lately, and, and Corsa Dairy just sort of happened to come, you know, a perfect alignment too. And <laughs> they're going to get smoked by the old Bonzarelli bus tonight because I'm pissed at those mofos. They have the second, 
third, debatable, arguably, the best ice cream, second or third. Hagen dazs number one. We'll get into that later, too. But I'm going to go on a rant to a while with Coworth at Dairy Ice Cream, and you ain't going to like it. And I don't care. Come at me, bro. Seriously. Because when I tell you what they did and what they're doing, you ain't going to like it either. And you're going to boycott them, too. You should. Anyway, I'll tell you that coming up, too. And popcorn bucket idea gone wrong. But did it? I don't think so. I'll tell you my old two cents because it's worth it coming up, too, on the whole bucket, popcorn bucket. A little maybe sex toy thingy. <laughs> it's a beauty. Plus, dummies of the week and a brand new segment called Chestnut Checkers. Got to see this one. Love it. All right. Coming up, Bill Wilechka on the book tour. Can't wait to talk to that guy, Wicked VJ from back in the day on the old Much Music. We've also got uh, Tamer, a <coughs> wonderful friend of mine. She owns a beautiful framing sal uh, salon studio place in, in the downtown Toronto region. And she is coming up on a massive anniversary. And she wants to come on and talk about it and share some amazing stories from over all her years. I think it's the 25th or 30th anniversary. So pretty cool stuff with her. Uh, really looking forward to talking to her. And as for mentioned as well earlier off the top of the show, JJ Wild, Feral Minx, and so many other great bands coming up as well. All right, boom. Did the sponsor. Did the blah, blah, blahs. Uh, okay. Um, let's get going. Quick slurp of the tea. Man, Matthews hit the crossbar, crossbar earlier. What a passer, eh? So close. I see his parents are in attendance tonight. Nice, nice. He's he's got he's got to get it done, right? Let's start. Let's start with the uh, before I get into the audition and stuff. No, nope. no. Let's get into the audition first. Then we'll talk hockey because there's 12 minutes left in the game. Maybe Matthews scores. Uh, well, he will score, but in the next 12 minutes and 41 seconds, and then we'll well we'll roll into that, and it'll be wonderful, and and the universe will align perfectly again. Everything's aligning tonight. I can I can feel it. Can you feel it? Good. All right, uh, where to start? Okay, yeah, quick update on the audition. So I was actually, I got to thank everybody first and foremost for all the raw, raw, sis, boom, boss stuff. It, it helps a lot. And it gave me the confidence that I needed. And honestly, I've gone to a couple of auditions in person already in Toronto and they did not go so well. <laughs> but I did it, you know, I went in sort of not, you know, I, I was prepared, but I wasn't prepared for the real experience. And the only way to get that is to go and do the goddamn things and do them. I have, and this was the third one. It's still green for sure, but way more confidence and knowing of what to expect walking into people in a room, cameras, and they, you know, they'll go do your thing and we're going to film it. And then we're going to whisper and we're going to write down stuff while you're doing it. And we know you can see, and you better pay attention and not screw up because we'll write that down too and talk about it and stuff too. And it's annoying when you're doing an audition and those people are doing that. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so I get there, right? And I am, I'm prepared. I was super proud of myself. I did not go to concerts, plural. I did not go golfing in beautiful weather. I worked my ass off to get prepared for this audition. Because it's not just a regular audition for a TV or a movie. It's probably all I can say on that. Um. But what it was was for something amazing, and and I needed and, and the 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 lines were like pages, and and I've never had to memorize so much, this much ever in my life. And I'm a stoner, <laughs> I smoke a lot of pot over the years, and and my memory is not what it used to be. Believe me, you. <laughs> so for me to focus that hard all week long, it was more than it was like ten days of just grind, 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 and memorizing and memorizing and fucking it up and getting it wrong and having no faith in yourself. You're like, you stupid idiot. You can't remember this. A ah. <sighs> couple of hits of the pen, deep breaths. You're like, okay, I got this. I got that. And then you do it. Okay. And then I kept getting deeper and deeper. I'm like, I can do it. I can do it. Anyways, I walked in there and I was super confident. So I'm sitting down. There's only one beautiful, gorgeous, uh, uh, what do you call it? Receptionist sitting there, um, checking us in and stuff. So I check in. There's nobody around. Thank God. I was kind of glad it was just me, me and her. But I wasn't really into her paying attention to her and nor was she paying attention to me. She was clickety in a way. And I was sitting there staring at my phone, going over my lines once more, reading it. And then, okay, got this. Ready? <laughs> Done it all. Nailed it. I was like, yes. So prepared. Got this. You're the best. Then I was like, 
got time for one more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just just so we, we know. We know. Okay. About quarter of the way through, and I'm like, oh, oh what's that? I, and then I was blank, blank. Couldn't even go back to the start. Couldn't even remember where I was. Couldn't even remember. I couldn't even remember my name. And I was like, oh, no, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me now. Please don't do this to me now. I'm like, oh, I can't. Well, okay, think. Deeper. And then all of a sudden, uh, oh, hi, Greg. Uh, can can you come with us, please? I was like, no way. And I can't look at my phone because she's chitter-chattering the whole way down the hallway. And I'm trying to take deep breaths because now we're on and we got to be, we got to be the Bonzarelli, like the best. And we we got, and I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what was that fucking line? And I'm trying to listen to her and pay attention to what she's saying, give me instructions and stuff. And I'm like, fuck, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. What am I going to do? So I go in there. I'm like, okay, just deep breaths. Stay calm. You got this. Buddy comes over, points at me, puts stand, stand here on the X. I stand there and he's got papers in his hand and there are the lines. And I look while he's yammering away in my ear. And I'm again, I'm like trying to look and look. And he goes, oh, do you need the lines? I was like, oh, no, no, no. I'm right up here, sir. Got them all. I saw, All I had to do was see two lines, two words. And it was like, boom. Got it, Buster. Thank you for holding those papers out. Stood where I had to do. He went, sat down, gave me the instructions, nailed it. Like four minutes nonstop of verbal diarrhea out of my mouth. No blemishes. Little shaky to start. I could feel it in the old, you know, I was a little verklempt, if you will. But then I, I calmed down, calmed down, and then it all went swimmingly. And then, unbeknownst to me, 10 minutes sitting down with a panel of people talking about a subject that they gave me. And I had to ask the questions and carry on a conversation for 10 minutes. Nailed it. Didn't even skip a beat. Introduced them like bosses. Did my thing. Chatted for 10 minutes. The camera time stopped on its own. The lady waves. Stop, stop. They looked at me and said, sir, that was a really good conversation. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. We'll see you later. I left there floating. I did. I was like, I was, I was scared. I was, but I did it. And it was the greatest. It felt like one of the greatest accomplishments because it, it was huge. And I'm a 50 year old stoner that can't remember shit. Can't remember what I did yesterday for Christ's sakes. And I pulled this off swimmingly. Even if I do not get this gig, which I won't find out for another week or two, I don't care. That was an accomplishment and that will help me in the future tenfold. I went in there like a boss, owned it like a boss left feeling like a boss and that's got to stand for something too so fingers crossed thanks to everybody for the support meant the world to me and i'm super proud of myself one more two to the horn because i done did it and i'm pretty proud because i'm scared as shit <laughs> all right uh five one still matthews has not scored we got nine minutes to go god we got to get him that 70th goal don't we and who wants it more than matthews you know he wants to do it for the fans and everybody right and he wants to do it for Bonzi. <laughs> no, I did not get her number, Wade, because listen, Buster, I was there to focus on other things. And focus I did, and, and I nailed it. And I don't know why it says Greg Bond at the bottom of the screen instead of, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I never go by Greg Bond. It is my name. Um. Anyways, I done did it. It was super awesome. And I'm really looking forward to, Um. I, I, I hope I get a call back to see if I move on to the next stage uh, to be chosen for said gig, which is long-term. Um, and man, oh man, I would be, I'd be bloody good at it. That's all I know. That's all I can say. Okay. Um, what's next? Fuck. Did Tampa just score again? Yeah, sure looks like it. <laughs> all right. Um, real quick. I was, let's Boston Bruins, Toronto Maple Leafs, round one. We've been there. We've done it. Uh, it has not gone very swimmingly for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's put it that way. Game seven series. It's been amazing. It's it's great for hockey. It's great if you're a Boston Bruins fan <laughs> in those game sevens because the Leafs, I'll never forget the one, especially where we were up. What was it, boys? Uh, Andy would know the best. I think it was, I think the Leafs were winning 4-1 or 3-1. I think third period, game seven, and we were like, I, I was already like counting round two. Here we go, baby. I was like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Only to watch the Boston Bruins proceed to score three, four unanswered goals and win game seven. Goodbye, Toronto Maple Leafs. See you later. Adios. <laughs>
devastating. And then we lost to them again in game seven. Uh, another devastating loss. Um, listen, wh wh what am I going to say? That's what the playoffs are. They are the greatest thing on this earth. That's why they play the games because you just never know. And maybe, just maybe the Toronto Maple Leafs fans will be right in 2024 and move on out of the first round and beat the Boston Bruins. Fingers crossed. Yet again, we shall see. <laughs> Mr. Werbicki, thank you so much for tuning in from San Juan del Sur. Big knucks to you, buddies. Clicks always. Love and uh, I, I respect. Uh, really, thanks for tuning in. He says, you've been the greatest transformation that I have ever seen. What an inspiration. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, real quickly on that, I just surpassed the three months no alcohol for Bonzarelli. True story. Um, yes, I know. I know. I can't even believe it myself. And believe me, there's many people out there, including some of you motherfuckers watching the show. And it's okay. I'm not upset because believe me, I didn't think I could do it either. And neither did you. <laughs> and so far I'm doing it. And listen, I don't like if you're a betting man, I wouldn't bet against me drinking anytime soon. So there's that. Super proud of that. Also, um, I'm proud that I was able to pull that memory stuff off. I'm proud that I've been going to the gym six days a week. I'm proud that I have not put booze down this gullet and use it as a uh, crutch and, and, a, and a means of escape and a means of forgetting. Because I'd really like to forget the video that I saw the other day. And it's funny. It didn't really make me want to go drink, which was odd. But what it really did do was sent me into a goddamn tizzy. Because I didn't see it coming. I didn't expect it. I didn't prepare it. And it was the it's probably the biggest trigger, if memory serves me correct, that I've ever had since watching that kid get hit and killed by the train in 2009. And what am I talking about, you ask? If you missed, uh, I brought it up earlier um, that I would talk about this. The to I saw this video. So the best weekend ever. Did that audition. Had an amazing meeting Saturday night with some wonderful folks. Uh, some pretty big deals here in the Hamilton region for a pretty big deal that's coming up. I think I could say the date, October 5th. I don't really have a name for it yet, <laughs> but it's a wonderful charity event that we're putting on or friends of mine are putting on. I am just happy to be a part of it. A huge part of it, I guess. I was uh, honored to be asked to be the MC of this uh, huge event that we're putting on. Um, we're, we'll be giving away a, uh, what do you call it? A scholarship in Pat uh, Molden's name, uh, War Hero, Canadian War Hero. Uh, my best friend and uh, my best pal that sadly was taken from us two Christmases ago, uh, way too soon. And uh, we're it's 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 time. And I I, I I so thankful for these people that are putting it together. I'm thankful that uh, they asked me to be a part of it, a huge part of it. And um, again, when I know the name of it and when I can give you more details, I will. It's going to be a great event. It's going to be all about mental health and giving away this scholarship um, to to a to a a, a veteran. Um, who is in need, who wants to go and better his education and stuff. And uh, the government's on board and, and some big sponsors uh, to be named. Upcoming, when I get some more details, I'll give them to you. But I just wanted to give you a heads up and tell uh, and myself, it's a big honor to be uh, uh, asked to MC something of this magnitude. And um, it's going to be nerve wracking as well. Uh, and, and, but I know I'll do great because that's what I do. All right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of great things going on. And, man, to be triggered. Uh, Kylie, thank you so much for tuning in. And I love you, too. I hope everything is going well. I miss you and your family dearly. Gosh, it's been a minute since I've been up to Aurelia and seen your wonderful parents and and you and and your and your and your baby. Your kids probably not even a baby anymore. Anyways, I really uh, I love uh, that you tuned in and thank you uh, for tuning in. Uh, Addy Ham since July hasn't had alcohol. Good for you, bro. And I know your wife wouldn't mind me saying she's a big fan of the show and she's a big fan of Bonzi and a friend. And I'm happy to call her friend too. And you, bro, um, your wife hasn't drank in over two years, she was telling me. And that's amazing. And listen, um, I just want to say real quick, I, people ask me um, because they're, they're in shock. <laughs> and every time, the more longer it gets, they're like, you ain't fucking around. Like, you, you still not drinking, bro? And I'm like, no, I'm not, actually. And, and, and they're like, well, so when's this over? Like next week or a couple days? Like, well, let's go. And I'm like, no, there's probably no let's go. <laughs> I don't know. Listen. I never, I've not once put a timeline on this. I, it could be forever. The longer it goes, the more I realize that I don't need to drink to do anything. Whereas before I had the complete 
opposite mindset. I needed to drink to golf. I needed to drink to do this show. I needed to drink to damn near do anything because I was scared and I didn't have belief in me anymore. And I was using it to, to, to run and hide from my demons and because I didn't know how else to deal with them. And I was embarrassed and, and ashamed to ask for help and go get help. I mean, I never did. And uh, I just drank myself to oblivion instead, thinking I was cool and it was under control and everything's fine. <laughs> and I was wrong. And I was wrong for a long time. And I was so far down, deep down the, the rabbit hole of, of the alcohol and thinking I was fine that I didn't really realize how bad I really wasn't. And holy shit, am I ever crystal clear on that now with being three months without it. Since I started drinking at, I was late, 17. I've never taken three months off and, and, and I'm 50. Uh, so that's a long time for me. And, and I definitely had a, a problem with alcohol. <laughs> There's no question about it. And so for me, it, it doesn't seem like a long time. I, and I was sitting here and I, I didn't, I didn't post anything about it, to be honest with you. And I sort of debated and I, I had it sort of ready to go. And I was like, ah, fuck it. You know, it's like, but then as it like sort of did some, you know, getting that gratitude in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the raw, raw, sometimes helps a motherfucker like me who, who really struggles and, 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 and suffers from self-love. I, I, you know, I really hated me for a long time. And so it's nice to, to, to hear the kudos back and see that I'm doing good things and, and I'm really feeling it and owning it for the first time and being sober has been a huge, huge help, uh, a huge help. And listen, if down the road in a year or two or, or, or whenever, it, if I want to have a glass of wine on a date or, or with my, uh, I almost said new wife, I, I'll, I don't ever foresee ever getting married again, but say my new lady down the lines or, or say my sons get married and I want to have a toast and I want to have a glass of champagne. I probably could. No problem. I, I, in fact, I know I could, but do I need to? And do I want to? We'll, we'll, we'll answer that question down the road, but for any foreseeable future, I will not be drinking. And I'm, I'm a little nervous about the summer. I'd be lying if I wasn't. I ain't never done a summer without booze. <laughs> and I have pretty good summers. Last summer, epic. Turkey Point, a, a ton, partied my ass off. And had a goddamn great time because the summer before, I didn't have summer. I worked my ass off. 12, 14-hour days, six days a week. So I made up for it last summer. But this summer, it's going to be a little diff different. I don't think it's going to be difficult. I got the, the willpower to do it. Anyways, enough about me and the drinking and the booze and the blah, blah, blah. I done, done did it three months. I'm super proud. We'll do three more. And then we'll do three more after that. And then we'll see. Okay? Right on. And if you're doing it too, good for you. Go get it. Uh, I know my boy Alex Kazam has stuck to it. And I, I got sad news, actually. Because when I started this, I, I mentioned that there was three of us. We met this wicked dude in, in Nicaragua. I met him right before I left. Uh, me and Alex. Alex sort of met him first and introduced me right before I was leaving. And the three of us got absolutely handboned one night. It was one of, I think it was one of my last nights of drink. It was my last night of drinking ever. Because I had a mini stroke the next day. <laughs> my second one. And then I never touched alcohol since. So um, anyways, this dude was wicked. And we all made a pact that we were going to quit drinking by golly gee. And we were going to be better people. Because winners didn't drink like, like good things happen to people that didn't drink and so we wanted to be those people and 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 i kept in touch with this guy he ended up moving from san juan to to like the mountains of el salvador somewhere up there north and we were keeping in touch keeping in touch for two months he was off the booze too doing really well he was doing it ex-veteran u.s uh, ranger i think one of the toughest craziest badassers out there that you can find poof gone he won't answer my text anymore. He won't answer. And he doesn't even like, they don't even show up as red, you know, like the blue check marks on the old uh, WhatsApp there. Hey, stop communication with both of us out of the blue, which I find really, really, really fucking sad and disheartening because he was a wicked dude. And I know he had his demons like we, and we were all supposed to help each other. We were going to be there for each other. And we all were. And then he was gone and he is gone and he hasn't answered us back. So that's sort of sad. And I, and I'm pissed. Um, let's get back to the whole tow truck thing and, and, and what set me off. And I'm, I'm really pissed because I'm sitting there after this great weekend and everything went swimmingly and stuff. And I, I'm, I'm doom scrolling as we do. And, and I'm ashamed to admit it. He spent too much time doom scrolling, but it's also doing work for the show. And I use that as an excuse, but I get, I get, I get carried away. 
And all of a sudden there was this, this video and it's this tow truck driver and he's in one of these with somebody else. And there's another couple of people standing around watching everything go on. And all of a sudden the one dude gets in the tow truck driver's tow truck, takes off and he's standing there in the middle of the street. And then the next thing you know, it's like, boom, the tow truck absolutely takes out the tow truck driver and the, the other dude that was standing there. These two mofos went flying and I didn't see that coming. And holy instant trigger mania. I was like, that's not good. Um, wicked nightmares that night. I felt like I was right back to square one. And then I haven't been the same since. I, I thought I, I went golfing the other day. My great buddy, Tony, kicked his ass by a multitude of strokes. I won't even go into, into any further detail. Uh, I had a great time with him. But I, I wasn't myself. He never said anything, but I could tell that he was thinking like, because he said, hey, you want to go for dinner after Ponzi? He was almost like asking if I was all right. And hey, man, well, you, well, let's go get something to eat and hang out. He never did ask if I was okay. And I really wasn't. Uh, I, I, there's, it's, it's, it's fucked me up and it's triggered me. And I haven't had to deal with this in a long time. And it's made me want to not get out of bed. It's made me want to do absolutely nothing and sit there like a goddamn zombie. I go to the, I've, I've, I've gone to the gym since this happened both days and, and three days. And even that's not working. I, I'm miserable there. I almost fought somebody today. You know how the whole shower thing and I'm standing there and I'm standing there as naked as the day I was born and I'm trying to dry off minding my own business. And these motherfuckers keep walking through there with their shoes on and their gym clothes on to go to the urinals on the other side when there's a fucking hallway. That much further you have to walk. The wall's that thick. There's the shower walkway, the wall, and then the walkway. This motherfucker came right and 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 had the that to not even stop, spin around, go back. Sorry, nope. Strolls right on through, headphones on, does my dozen, has a little, does a little bird watching and keeps it going. And and I said something. I, I said it because I was fucking pissed. Now he either chose to ignore me or he didn't hear me because he had two headphones in. But he got a mouthful. I've had it. I've had it over there with these losers. And 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 I was asking. I was up to there, and I finally got. I sort of snapped. I think there should be warnings on these videos out there because, and there usually is ninety five. I would say percent of the times there's there's warnings on these videos. You know, and it's like, you know, it's some of it you got to actually hit button sensitive content. Blah blah blah, and and that's good for them because. Fuck, man, there's a lot of people. Well, kids, too. It's the internet these days. It's 2024. They're going to have access to the stuff. And parents can only do so much. Kids should not be, adults shouldn't have been watching what I saw. And it was an instant trigger because it was exactly what I saw. Like train, kid, boom, flying, adios. And I haven't had a goddamn trigger like that in a long, long, long last time. And I'm doing my best. But man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying everything and it's just not really working. You know what I'm saying? I got to take that comment. I don't even know where it is now. So let me do this. Ryan Bird, thank you so much for tuning in to the show. Westdale Hockey Fights. I remember those for sure. <laughs> oh, geez. 6-3, um, Tampa Bay is winning. Empty net. Two minutes, 35, four seconds to go. Um, Austin Matthews still trying to get that magical 70th goal. Come on, brother. Uh, anyways. Yeah, it threw me for a loop. I'm still trying to get over it. I will get over it. I just think it sucks. And I wanted to go on a little bit of a rant to to explain the fact that this shit just shouldn't be out there. And, 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 and first of all, people shouldn't be running people over, first and foremost. And second, it shouldn't be out on the internet and, and that easily without a warning. You know what I'm saying? For people like me and kids, for first and foremost. Because, man, I could mess a kid up too seeing something like that. Because our brains are not designed. This was explained to me when in the few times I did go and see a therapist. Um, one of them who was semi-decent explained to me that when you have something traumatic like that, when there's 0.0, .0 warning and you see something ultra-traumatic, our brains d don't comprehend that. We're not, we're not programmed for that. Firefighters, police officers, first responders and stuff. They have some sort of a warning when they go to calls of what to expect. There's something in it releases in your brain to give you. It's almost like watching a movie. You you know that scary part's coming, and you're like, you're ready, and you you can sense it. The music, just the just the no. So you're ready for it. You're still scared of shit, and you jump and hit the roof. But 
you're prepared for it in in a sense with something what i saw there's there's no there's no preparing for that it was just instant traumatic there's no there's no oh yeah this is coming ready brace it still it still would suck either way and there and 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 i'm not putting down firefighters or first responders to anybody like that cops or uh, ambulance people um because they still get fucked up from what they see too because sometimes it is just too much with warning <laughs> you know um uh, i have to laugh about it because otherwise we're gonna lose my mind but um you know, it is what it is. And people, it just, we, we should be more careful, I guess is what I'm saying. And I guess I just maybe had to get that off my chest and I have to apologize to Tony and to some others. I just haven't been feeling my normal self. And, uh, that's why <laughs> and it sent me for a loop, but, uh, and, uh, and honestly, uh, I got God's honest truth. I did not want to do the show today. I thought I, I tried every excuse in the book in up here to myself to try and get out of it. Um, but that, but that's what, that's what the demons want. And that's what the, the, you know, that's not, that's not what we do. Uh, th this this is a release, and this is, has helped me so much over the years, and it's helped a lot of people, and I'm and I'm thankful for that. So, uh, moving on from that, let's get to uh, we got 34 seconds, six four. Um, Matthews has not got it. So close, so many times. It doesn't look like he's gonna get it. I think he's gonna stay out on the ice. Man, what a pisser! I really, he's got to get it. He's got to get it. We got 34 seconds, and he's number 34. It makes sense, right? Tavares scored. Tavares, fuck off. We don't need you scoring. 30 seconds. Come on. Lisa, Lisa made a game of it coming back 6-4, I got to say. It's clicks for that, at least. A little high note going into the playoffs against the Boston Bruins. We got 15, 14 seconds. We're not even down in their end. It does not look like Matthews is going to score 70. Oh, quick breakout. Here we go. Here we go. We got a chance. It's five seconds. Come on. Set him up. Here we go. Oh. oh, so close. And he doesn't get 70. Clicks for Matthew anyway. What a what a season. 69 goals. Wow. Way good for Matthews. Missed the elusive 70. God damn it. Oh well. Um, go leaves go against the Boston Bruins. That's all I can say. Okay, what's next? Um, oh yeah. So I was pissed. That, that's what got me pissed off and stuff. And you know what? That led me into my next topic, which I am right fired up over. We all love Kawartha Dairy Ice Cream. Like, who doesn't, right? Probably, as aforementioned at the, uh, earlier in the show, probably second or third best ice cream in the world. Might be biased. It's Canadian ice cream. It's Ontario ice cream, as a matter of fact. And if you haven't had it, you're missing out. But it's really good, okay? Um, my problem isn't with the cost. It's, it's expensive. It's $7.99 a tub, which... I think it's around fair market price, right? That's not my problem. My problem is going to their little Kawartha Dairy stores and getting the ice cream cones there. Wade says he'll get 70 in the season where Phoenix gets a new. Yeah. Bye-bye, Phoenix, by the way. Adios. See you later. I guess don't. I, I don't even feel sorry for him because you had long enough. And I'm going to go off a little, excuse me, side note here because it, it's ridiculous. Bye, Phoenix. You you blew it. Worse than Bonzi with girls, bro. You had years and years and years and years to fix and solve this problem. Batman loved you. He you you had he loved you. You were his little baby, and you still blew it. Bye. Let's go Utah. I mean, I'm not cheering for them, but hey, I hope they do. Let's get let's pack that arena. Let's get them into a proper NHL arena, sized arena instead of a goddamn college. It's just a debacle, and Phoenix should be ashamed because you had an NHL team. You had it, and you blew it. So, see ya. Bye. That's all I have to say on that. So, Wade, no, um, my boy Austin Matthews will not be going to Phoenix anytime soon because there ain't a team, and he definitely ain't going to Utah, okay? He'll be staying in Toronto. Thank you very much. All right. Um, Where were we? Ice cream. Kawartha Dairy. Feel shame. Go to their stores. I found this out the other day. Haven't been in one in a while. Not really ice cream season per se. It is now coming up to a ice cream season, but also not really been eating the ice cream or going out for ice cream. But I will tell you this. I saw this little snippet and it got my goat because why? First and foremost, they're charging $9, $9 for a single scoop. Robbery gouging at its finest. Now, listen, still not what I'm pissed at. You charge what you want. I ain't going there. I don't care. 
with all the other suckers that line up and pay the nine bucks or or twelve dollars for a double scoop. Twelve buck double scoop. You can go get almost two fucking tubs, you losers. Yet you line up and pay twelve dollars for double scoop. Again, not a problem. Because it's not my problem. Because I ain't paying it. Charge away. Here's my problem. These idiots are going to go get the $12 double scoops. And guess what? You think you're getting two flavors? Think again. You're only allowed one flavor when you pay 12 bucks for two scoops. I said, pardon? I beg your pardon now? You hear me? 12 bucks, two scoops, one flavor only. By golly gee. I would love to know the miserable fucking asshat that came up with that in the boardroom at the old Kowartha Dairy headquarters and thought that that was a good idea. Bro, obviously you had the biggest loser of a childhood. Everybody probably hated you. You probably got no ice cream. And if you did, you definitely didn't get double scoops. You probably weren't allowed because you were probably a little sod. Your problem, not ours. But what'd you do? You decided to take it on on everybody. Who does not have childhood memories of going to Baskin Robbins or, or, or whatever other ice cream store, creme de ice place, and get two scoops? And, and it, that was the best part. You go, oh, man, you know, I really want the, well, maybe the tiger stripe with the chocolate brownie or but oh, the chocolate peanut butter with the, with the tiger stripe. And then when it melts together, remember they mold together into one, form one like delicious awesomeness flavor. Not a quart of dairy because they're fucking losers. One flavor, two scoops at 12 bucks. Toodaloo, buds. He will never, ever see my ass in quart of dairy. First of all, I ain't paying that price. Second of all, I want two scoops and I want two flavors. Who are you to tell me when I pay 12 bucks, I can't have two flavors? Are you kidding me, bro? Huh. My corner. Thank you. Easter Brooks is a good place for ice cream. Well, there you go. And I bet you, uh, you know what? I'm going to go check it out. I do have cheat days and I'm going to go to Easter Brooks because it's right by Pat's grave site. And I'm going to have me an Easter Brooks double scoop, two flavors ice cream. And I'm going to give them kudos on here. And I'm going to double fist Kawartha again because I think they're crooks. And I think they should be ashamed for not allowing poor little kids in 2024 to experience of Two flavors together. Idiot. How dare he? Anyway, shame on any idiot that goes and lines up for $12 two scopes for one flavor only anyway. You're the dummy, not me. <laughs> Pralines and cream, Basket Robbins. Dude, hands down, one of the best flavors. Not the best. Probably top three, though. Maybe, I think, even top two. Chocolate peanut butter, hands down, is my favorite. Then it's probably the pralines and cream from Baskin Robbins. And I am all hail long live Baskin Robbins. Uh, always grew up. I, I grew up for, down the street from one. They are in the Hamilton hoods, and I love Baskin Robbins. And that's who I be supporting and not Kawartha Dairy. There. Rant over about Kawartha Dairy. I ain't going there again, and you shouldn't either. Just for the simple fact that they won't let you get two flavors or two scoops or two bucks. Great. <sighs> Time out. Ah. All right. 43 minutes of nonstop rambling about incessant nonsense. Good for me. Without even taking a sip of water or a breath or anything. How do you like me now? Okay. Um, okay. Enough of the full on hate the world, angry, blah, blah, Bonzi. <laughs> we'll get over it. Nothing a little more gym sessions and some running and some golf can't fix. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else have I got? Oh, yeah. I did the core of the stuff. Yeah, man. I'm way behind. I just, that was all off the notes or off the cuff because I don't need notes. Um, of course it's dead to me. They're gone. Um, popcorn bucket lady. This is, this is the greatest. This is, this is a weird story. And, and, and the lady that, the, and she should know better being the CCO of the company of AMC movie theaters. Remember going to there? I don't know if you've been to Florida or where's the other one? I bet, South Carolina, Myrtle beach and stuff. They got the AMC theaters, uh, movie theaters. Um, uh, but 
they had this wonderful promotion. And this lady was so proud that she came up with this, this Dune 2 bucket for your popcorn. Now, listen, I don't know anything about Dune 1, nor do I know anything about Dune 2. But I know this. This lady came up with this bucket for popcorn, thinking it was the be-all and end-all of popcorn buckets. I know. I know. I don't see popcorn bucket. I see... For the, like it's a sex it looks like a sex device for the the fellas <laughs> if you will you know what i'm saying it could be used uh, listen you 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 get it okay you get it i'm not saying it. this lady was absolutely horrified when she found out that people were loving it for other purposes than eating the popcorn in fact, they were flying off the shelves, 30 bucks a pop, and people were trying to get them online because everybody was making TikToks and funny videos with them and getting lots of attention and, and the clicks and the likes. And then this lady was horrified and she thought she made the gravest of mistakes. She's like, oh, I blew it. I blew it. What am I going to Like, lady, are you living in a cave? First of all, I, I don't know well, what made you think. If I don't take a time out, and do something and leave the screen for 10 seconds. There's going to be no more show. Uh, rookie mistake. My computer's not plugged in. And it just warned me it's about to die. Stand by. Da, 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 da. Plug in. And I will be right back. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I'm back. I'm here. How come I can't see me? What did I do? Video. Did I unplug plug something? Oh dear, we've gone dark. Francis, we gone dark. Who the hell's Francis, Bonzi? I don't know, but we're still dark. <laughs> Bear with me here. Let me go to video. Let me go to here. Uh why are we why are we on no camera? <laughs> Something must have came unplugged on Gorelli. Stand by, folks. I know this is absolutely riveting stuff, but let me try unplug, plug her back in, hit reset. Nope, that is not working. How did I lose camera here? Stand by, stand by, stand by. Um That's interesting. Never had the camera go up before. Plugged in. And I only friend is a ghost in my room I got a bed that I don't really use I'm up a fucking night thinking of you You don't have a single thought of me, do you? Time to move on and get over myself Now I'm pretending like I never knew you Smoke every day like it's good for my health My mama knows that I'm hard to get through So I need a friend other than myself We're stuck in a storm but it's something I grew up through Something I grew up and nothing I'm new to Rain cloud above me, you think that I'm glued to it Ain't putting nobody below or above me I got that pack on me, yeah I went to school with it I'm placing at lunch 
now I'm fried in my class I play it cool and I handle my business I wasn't on honorable but I still passed Nobody knows anything in my past But they gonna act like they got it figured out I'm gonna act like I could be bigger now I'm not the same little kid that I was They try to bring me down, I never budge Drank half a bottle, it just got a buzz Smoke all the time like it's good for my lungs I got more purpose in taking these drugs We're being led by serpents and thugs And somehow they thinking the problem is us It ain't Packing my pain in the bowl and I smoke it away Always on the go, fuck is a break I don't believe in them making mistakes No choice but to make it, I do what it takes You see the pain when you look at my face I got myself at the end of the day I'm not afraid of the dead in my grave Cause... My only friend is the ghost of my room I got a bed that I don't really use I'm up a fucking night thinking of you You don't have a single thought of me, do you? Time to move on and get over myself Now I'm pretending like I never knew you Smoke every day like it's good for my health My mama knows that I'm hard to get through to My only friend is the ghost of my room I got a bed that I don't really use I'm up a fucking night thinking of you You don't have a single thought of me, do you? Time to move on and get over myself Now I'm pretending like I never knew you Smoke every day like it's good for my health my mama knows that I'm hard to get through to Yeah, in the bed of the truck with some uh, beer cans. Let's uh, let's pop out with these guys and uh, see what they got going on. Copy that. No. Hey, tell them to hang out real quick. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't even want to ask what that was. This is some hillbilly shit. Are they throwing these cans at you? Yeah, they're chucking cans, but uh, the fat boy in the back is hilarious. He's trying to hold on for dear life. Oh my god. I'm missing a whole show. Yeah, in the bed of the truck with some uh, beer cans. How you gonna get out of the back of the truck? No, 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 get on the ground. I'm right here. Get on the ground. I'm right here. All the way, I know where the fuck you are. I ain't retarded. Get on the ground, big boy. Two more ran that way. Lout, lout. What do you want? You want the dog? I'll hit him. What do you want? You gonna go down to the ground? That's what I want. I want you down on the ground, Jelly Bean. Let's go, all the way, Jelly Roll. Let's go. Down, please. All on the way your down. tummy. All, right. All the way down. Yeah, it, I don't know about handcuffs. You might need a rope. Do we have? Yeah, a, just hang out down there for a second. Put your arms out like an airplane. You're the there guy. You want. Maybe sit go. up on his. There you go. On his sit, butt. Sit straight. Right. Sit straight up now. 
Just sit up. I almost got a block in the gate. Watch, tra- watch, watch I, forward. I, I didn't do anything. Maybe put one hand, around, one cuff around him, and then one cuff around like oh, what, what are you the truck cuff, or something. What are you cuffing? You're before? being detained. You cuff him to my bumper. Okay. Well, for one, all I didn't do. Harvey, anything. make sure you watch Here. straight. I'm watching. Come- She tried to jam me across. I'm getting. She's quite clever. Actually. Yeah, it's just the slow motion. I love it when she lets go and back. Oh no, Jerry's going to. What a catch. Yep. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Hit him ball trick. <laughs> oh, we got to get prepared, too. What a catch. Yep. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Hit him ball trick. <laughs> oh, we got to get prepared, too. What a catch. Yep. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Hit him ball trick. <laughs> oh, we got to get prepared, too. What a catch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Holy, let's go. Are you ready? Woo! Woo! Holy, let's go. Oh, are you ready? That. that was very strange. It was very weird. It was peculiar. It was kind of amusing. Yes, it was rather funny. It was incredibly funny. I loved it. Hilarious. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> 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 